What's up everybody, this is Tuba Solo coming at you. Well, I'm getting ready for a trip here. I've uh, sprayed some permethrin. Per I've sprayed some uh, permethrin on my clothes here. Uh, I guess I owe you guys a bit of an explanation on where the heck I've been lately. I'm gonna assume that there's nothing terribly unique about what's happening in my life. I'm sure it's happening in most people's lives, but ever since this whole COVID thing happened, um, I know it seems like the, uh, the busyness has grown exponentially and I can't explain it and I don't know how, um, I mean, I don't think I've ever been this busy quite possibly in all my life. Um, literally every day I go into work and, and just beat my head on the desk and, and it's just project after project and I come home absolutely exhausted. Um, I've actually gone on two trips and um, I never cut the video from those trips. Uh, the video was subpar at best. I mean, I really, I didn't think, uh, I didn't think my heart was in it at the time when I was doing those videos. I mean, that's how exhausted I've been lately. And it's really too bad because uh, there were two really fun trips that I took with my buddy Matt. One was Dobbs. One was um, gosh, I've even forgotten where I went. Let's see, we went to Dobbs. Oh, we went to Jackstraw Camp, quite possibly one of my most favorite camps out in the San Gorgonios. And um, yeah, I just had no desire to cut the uh, the video and, and create an adventure video because I knew it would be subpar because the entire time I was not feeling it. But uh, I am going on another trip coming up here. Uh, it's going to be a very, very fun one. It's going to be uh, in the Sierra Nevada. And boy, if that doesn't get you excited about going backpacking, about photography, about video, man, I don't know what will. So I'm really looking forward to everything here in the next couple days when me and Matt are going to head out to, uh, to the um, Sierra Nevada and, and man, just spend three days out there. Just um, probably seeing some of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen, getting some of the best pictures I've probably ever gotten, landscape pictures, hopefully getting some of the best content that I've ever gotten. But uh, yeah, man, I've been I've been tired. I've been exhausted. It's uh, it's really too bad because there's a lot of stuff that I, I want to still show you guys. I mean, I got a ton of gear I want to show you guys. There's a uh, a backpack that I got from Six Moon Designs that I want to show you guys. Something other than the Swift X. Um, there's also another shelter, another couple bags that I want to show you guys from from Six Moon Designs. There's a lot of stuff that's still a lot of content that I want to generate. I've just been feeling really, really exhausted. What's really bumming me out too is that um, also, <laughs> and I know you guys have been waiting forever and actually, uh, you know, at first I was a little bit worried about not putting out part five of the, uh, the Six Moon Design Trekker video, but actually I'm kind of happy that I didn't because I've gotten the chance to use a Trekker quite a bit and I think I can actually provide some genuine feedback after some, some serious use. I'm actually bringing the Trekker with me to the Sierra Nevada, so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how that does over there. I, I could tell you at least this much, in my general area where I backpack, uh, it is very difficult to dislike that shelter. Of course, DCF is gonna be the lightest. Um, you know, it's gonna provide the best water repellency and what have you. Probably the best option for most people, but if you don't have the kind of money to drop on DCF, Oh my gosh, dude, like it is, I can't imagine that you would want a different shelter other than the Trekker, especially if you're in an area where it doesn't rain a lot. But we're gonna take this up to the Sierra Nevada, we're gonna take that Trekker, and um, we're gonna put it through its paces for three days up in the Sierra Nevada, up at about 10,000 feet for, th for three days straight. So I'm looking forward to using it. Um, really looking forward to this up and coming trip. Hopefully I'll be able to generate some more content in 2020 here, man. This this whole year has been seriously messed up. I, I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure everybody has a story. Everybody has something that's happened to them this, this year in 2020 that's just absolutely baffling. You just wonder how on earth are we here at this point? Um, my spirit's certainly not crushed, but man, I'm exhausted. I'm sure other people are exhausted too. And um, now we'll see what, what ends up happening on this trip, man. I'm really, really excited. Really excited to get the camera out there. Really excited to take some pictures. Really excited to get some video content. Excited for what we're gonna see. Excited to be out in God's creation. 
it's going to be amazing. I know it. I'm going to be out there with my buddy Matt. It's going to be great. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. But just to give you guys an idea of what I was doing here as I'm hitting everything up with permethrin and all my clothes over here. Gonna get this thing ready for, for a three day jaunt in the uh, Sierra Nevada. I guess um, the bugs are pretty bad at this time of year out there, so you know, I don't know if this is really gonna help. I'm sure it's gonna do something as opposed to nothing. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the netting on this, uh, this tent and just get everything ready to rock and roll here. And uh, one other thing I wanted to say that um, you know, I wanted to clarify it. I'm certainly not looking for anyone to feel sorry for me, man. That's that's not it at all. You know, I mean, I appreciate it. Don't don't get me wrong. It's like you know, everyone loves an encouraging word, but that's certainly not why I, you know, doing this update and this style and and just being so real with you guys with where I'm at. It's just, man, I, I want I want people to know, dude. If you're if you're feeling tired, bro, I'm feeling tired too. I can absolutely relate. This has just been one one heck of a crazy season, but yeah, not looking for any for any pats on the back in a sense, but uh, <laughs> it just <laughs> the hits just keep on coming this year. It's too funny. I think what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna take the uh, the Swift X. Um, I actually think it'll probably have the capacity that I need. Worst comes to worst, I can always take uh, a bigger pack that I have and what have you. But I'd like to see if I can make this all fit in the Swift X. I think with, with the uh, Six Moon Design um, uh, pack pods that they have, I think I can make it work for this trip. Um, I'm going to be taking a lot more clothes than what I normally do because it is going to get pretty cold there at 10,000 feet, but I think the Swift X is going to do really well. Um, one thing though that, that may change what I'm possibly doing, possibly, I'm, I'm pretty sure it won't be that big of a deal. We're going to be carrying a bear canister and I'm going to be carrying a... Uh, uh, a bear canister in there which may force me into a different pack but you know ultimately when the day is done it's still gonna be great uh, worst comes to worst I'll just uh, spray down the other pack but I'm gonna try all my stuff tonight and just make sure everything kind of fits got all my food situated and uh, yeah getting ready for the Sierra Nevada it's gonna be one heck of a fun trip thanks for taking the time to watch this video guys I really appreciate you all and uh, I know you all are sticking uh, sticking with the channel what have you nobody's necessarily jumping ship and what have you but uh yeah thanks for uh thanks for listening thanks for uh understanding kind of where i'm at in life right now um content will be coming it'll be coming but uh boy just this last few months has been has been something else i'll talk to y'all later